As mentioned in my video yesterday, talking about any type of Halo news happening today, well guys, it's not going to happen. Aaron Greenberg, who is the GM at Xbox Games Marketing, said this on Twitter, since many are asking what to expect for tomorrow, which would be today, uh, you all saw our news, the showcase on Sunday. Uh, the extended stream is more to more forward to kind of like interviews with add more context to what we saw on that Sunday stream. So nothing new is going to be showcased, which is pretty much what exactly I expected. Uh, I know we had that leaked image where it showcased like 04, 27, 06, 14. And we got our hopes up for that for some Halo news. But these extended showcases have been happening with the Xbox, but that's a showcase for the last like what, since 2018 or something like that. They've spent in that time, those extended times, to kind of actually sit down and have interviews with developers and provide more context to what we saw, rather than providing some new information. Since that Xbox Bethesda showcase was mainly you know, gameplay and trailers, which was exactly what we need to see. Give us just what we need and then provide the context later on in the extended showcase. So that's why I was saying within my video that we weren't really gonna get anything about this, but uh, that's pretty much what we got. But we got some other news happening today in Halo. It looks like fan favorite game Fall Guys is getting some Halo content in this game as well, which is pretty exciting. They recently found this leaked trailer online, so I'm showing it to you guys right now about Fall Guys and looking like on June 20th, you'll be able to play as Master Chief and various characters from Halo within the game. If you guys do not remember, that Fall Guys is looking to go free to play as well this month, so it's a good chance to jump in, play some of that, and also have a chance to, well, you know, play some, well, some Halo characters, so more Halo content in other games besides Halo. Nice. Now, I don't know if this is necessarily Halo news or something, but I just, I just, I've been following Certain Infinity because of the Tatanka leaks. I'm trying to figure out what the heck's going on with that. And Certain Infinity recently tweeted this out saying, this is the last time these walls in our Austin studio will be empty. Lots of updates coming over the next month. So, Next month, guys, July, we might get some information about Tatanka. We do know that Sword Infinity is also currently working on their own game as well. It's supposedly supposed to be kind of like a Monster Hunter-like game. Uh, of course, we haven't had any concrete information, but once we do, I guarantee I'll let you guys know on this channel. But I'm sure many of you are hoping for what that leaked Tatanka mode, which has been rumored to be the Halo Battle Royale. As we do know, Certain Infinity has did earlier state in the year that they doubled down on their, their, their support of Halo. And, uh, and most of it was all about like Unreal 4 Engine Halo related content, which is kind of weird and very interesting. But again, we'll just have to wait until we get some concrete information. Once we do, you know, I'll share with you guys here on the channel. Continuing on with our Halo coverage here, Paul Tassi, who is the writer over at Forbes, writes a lot of interesting articles, wrote this about a quote from Pablo Schreiber, the guy who played Master Chief in the show, and it seemed to be, well, I don't know, the tone of it didn't seem to match quite right. Where Pablo said, uh, people are were pissed that their image of who this guy was, Master Chief, which is really tied up in themselves, is being dismantled. Our hope is that decisions to make the first season as uncomfortable as it is for so many people it will pay off over the course of the long form of the series so saying like season two we might see a lot of these weird decisions that they made throughout uh the halo tv show to come to fruition or something like that i don't really know about that because well I mean, I do agree that with Master Chief, a lot of people have tied themselves up as the Master Chief because he's fundamentally designed in the game to be you in the game. So when you see you, in a way, not acting as you would expect in the show, things can, you know, be a little saucy when it comes to people's opinions about the show, for sure. And like I've always said, Master Chief really isn't like that much of a character. He's always been like more of a vessel for the player to be within the game. So he's always been a bit of a blank slate. I think a lot of people are probably getting a little extra, you know, upset about saying the word dismantle who Master Chief really is. And it's like, guys, just give me what I like, you know, like don't have to try to reinvent the wheel every single time when it comes to any form of Halo content. Like just give us what we like and you might find that people might actually enjoy it. Personally, I enjoyed the show. I wasn't agreeing with every decision, but some of the stuff they did with it was really cool. I'm looking forward to season two and hopefully things come to fruition as Pablo Schreiber mentions. And this week we got something interesting happening in Halo. That is the entrenched game mode and fracture event has come back to Halo Infinite. 
again bringing back the entrenched playlist right here as you guys can see we have the playlist of land grab We're gonna be able to be your way to unlock your more content right here uh, i believe they actually added in more maps if i remember correctly and it looks like all your familiar arena maps are going to be involved with this playlist. i believe they added in some maps i don't really remember like maps like live fire or launch site being involved with the whole thing of course i could be wrong on that but it's been a while and also guys we got to check out the content you can guys get for this week as well again you have 10 challenges you can unlock for your battle pass for your 30 tier freeze items right here so first we got an emblem then we have a coating for it looks like a vehicle right there next one we're going to have is going to be a shoulder piece and another shoulder piece for your fracture core on top of that we got some more knee pads looks like we have a emblem or right there and also next one we have another coating for your character next one here we got some chest piece items right here which actually do fit this core very well so that's actually kind of cool looking we have like a water bottle canteen kind of thing from like the old school world war ii style and then lastly for what you can unlock if you did all 10 tiers last time you can get the kraybaros helmet right here which does look pretty menacing not gonna lie but you know what it is since it is tuesday you know what that means shop update time so let's jump in and see what's available here so i think they're like slowly boiling the frog here because they bumped up the price of the armor set pack to 1700 which i believe last week was 1600 and before that was like around 1200 or something like that so the prices are going up man like the sales are kind of disappearing right here this kind of reminds me of like fallout power armor in a way so if you're really into this kind of stuff this could be totally your thing maybe not but we actually get to see the coating this time involved it looks like it has a bit of more of a texturing to it as well more of a scraped kind of texture to the coating on this one so that's kind of cool get some knee pads you got like a side pack right there with some knives this shoulder pad right here has been getting a lot of interest because like people have been saying it looks kind of like the uh, little sus characters in among us which I, now i totally see that and i can't unsee that now which is kind of awesome get two shoulder pads you also got a chest piece cover right here as well which does look really awesome not gonna lie we also have a helmet visor right again just kind of a gold color and then you get a bunch of emblems on top of that this next one the point bombardment i don't really understand the point of the the checkered color in here but i mean more power to you here so it's kind of like a green and dark green almost like a black gray and also like some weird kind of checker coloring to the whole thing you get this for your character the warhog and you also get it for the razorback you know like all your typical vehicles look at that rocket hog right there. it just looks so weird it's just like i don't know what i don't know about this cody man i mean it's definitely unique if you wanted to be more stand out ish when it comes to your coatings well this will definitely do it i don't know if this is kind of a reference to something but in particular but there you go again you get all your typical vehicles that we get for our vehicle coding pack right here and a bunch of emblems as usual next we have for 700 credits the eagle claw which this actually does look really awesome not gonna lie uh, for 700 credits it does feel a bit high for my opinion but it does look kind of awesome though and also then we got some weapon charm we have a weapon charm of the mechanized assault the wild hogs right here so get that along with a bunch of emblems tied to that as well and that's kind of your whole update when it comes to halo infinite for this week now confirmed by community manager unicheck did say that good news the drop pod is prepared to land tomorrow which would be well today it hasn't gone live yet but i did cover it all in my previous video guys if you want to check that out check that video out to get all the little details about the whole thing but a bunch of nice little quality of life improvements coming along with that update uh, once it does go live i'll make sure to share it on my community page here on my channel so make sure you're subscribed to catch that post when it does go live it looks like we're gonna get a lot of changes when it comes to the ranking system a lot of changes when it comes to like the load screens which is great also talking about load screens they're improving the load times when it comes to the menu stuff which is very fantastic very much needed increasing the durability and some vehicles and things like that and a lot of little great changes like that again quality of life improvements which they said these drop pods were all about if you want to catch all the details check out that previous video guys but if you're new to the channel miss any content if you may recently check out this playlist right here gonna link to all my gaming news and informational videos right there thank you so much for watching greatly appreciate it catch you on the next one peace out